We're going to take you away from your lighting designer duties for a little while to uh, help get the, the front door in. Okay. And what we have uh, right here is a door that opens in and upstage. The door I've provided does not. We're going to have to move the hinges. Uh, but anyway, we need the structure, and of course it has to be really strong. This is a real door with tempered glass. It's heavy. Uh, so this particular unit has to be really, really strong compared to these, of course, which do nothing but stand there. Uh, so we have some 2x10s, 2x6s, and 2x4s, and we're going to screw these things together uh, tight and, of course, perfectly straight and square. And uh, what we need is a, a vertical member here that goes not all the way up, but above, up above the door. The doorway itself, all the lumber's here. Uh, and the other end. And across the top is just another flat, which we haven't built yet. We're going to build that last to make sure it comes out the right size. Okay. So you and I are going to cut some wood to fit the door that's coming upstairs right now. So we're going to use a plug-in version, which has a lot more moxie, and of course is extremely dangerous. Uh, so we have our safety glasses, we, uh, we have our uh, well-lit area, safe area, we're not going to trip on anything, and uh, safety first, and we're going to just follow the lines and cut off these two ends. And that's all there is to it. That's, 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 okay. It's not cheap and dear. I'll make this cut. We need one more still that's very similar to these, but there's going to be some fancy cutting. So we may end up using the jigsaw. Um, next, we're going to put on the door. And there's the door. Abby, this doesn't say Waldman hats. Uh, what's the story behind this? Welcome sinners. This would be your front door, of course. <laughs> this, this is, is my front door, yes. The uh, door we used my ninth grade year at Blair for Guys and Dolls for the Save a Soul Mission. Save a Soul Mission. Guys and Dolls, one of the most famous musicals uh, in the world, really. Uh, I take it we're going to have to scratch that off. How wide is our door? Doorway. It is uh, 33 and 3 fourths inches wide and 80 and a half inches tall. Very good. So what we're going to do then is, is right here, oh, you have it all written out for me. I do. Right here on the center line, we're going to measure off for, uh, for the door, to set of the door right here. Okay. We're going to build a, a door frame out of some relatively strong wood uh, and then hang that door. But if we can go back up to that door, uh, I'm looking at it. Let's put it in place just to see what it might look like. We'll just kind of approximate. So here's the door, Waldman hats, right? The audience, the Waldman I guess hats Waldman hats, hats on this side. So it'll look backwards to the audience. That's kind of cool. But I'm, I'm noticing with the hinges that the doors can open like this. Well, actually, it will be flipped around, but... Um, so we want we want it like this. Yeah. Okay. So it is backwards in the Waldman hats. But the hinges are still wrong. But the door's gonna open that way. Isn't and that's it? not gonna work, is it? So we have to flip the hinges. Okay, so we're gonna <laughs> this sounds kinda complicated. We're gonna flip the hinges and then the door will open correctly. Mm -hmm. We're gonna scrape off this. Mm -hmm. Nobody's gonna cry, right? Um, okay, well, you're going to build the frame, and okay. then we're going to deal with these hinges uh, and slap a new coat, coat of paint on the door. Right? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Let's put it back. Is that your mark? Yeah. I'm going to draw the full line in. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and box it all the way in. This is going to be here. Now, in a real house, it's not quite like this, of course. So 
so no one should be maybe in a garage. No one should be taking home building lessons from the stage crew, right? Okay, so those two. Uh, whatever height, do you recall? Uh, it's 80. 80, I'm sorry? 80 and a half inch. All right, we'll probably add an inch to that okay. so we'll have some clearance at the bottom and some clearance at the top. This to prevent wobble, right? Just get that just right. There you go. In a perfect stage crew, you'd have a framing square to be able to draw these lines and make sure they're straight. But it looks like we either left it home or lost it somewhere along the line. Uh, all I need, all we need, is a line here, 45 degrees that represents the opposite side of the bay window okay. we did over here. So when you don't have a framing square, the job is to take a show poster and fold it exactly on the diagonal. And then you have the 45 degrees. And after a moment or two, you'll be able to, aha, and that's what you need. One and two. Very good. Abby, what's the door height again? Uh, the door is 80 uh, and a half inches tall. 80 and one half? Yeah. We're adding an inch for clearance. Yep. 80 one and, one and a half. All right, but we have this wood already on the floor. Um, so we have to deduct for that. And uh, of course all of our uh, dimension lumber comes inch and a half. So mm -hmm. we're back down to 80. 80. It's important to know how to use your saw. If you don't have one of these, you can make these cuts with the handheld circuit or saw the same way she made our custom cuts for the bottom piece. This is much handier. But there's several adjustments and contraptions on here, and it looks to me like this saw is cutting crooked right now. So what we want to do is we want to loosen, aha, and correctly set for our nice straight cut. If we were working on a house doing some kind of custom molding, we might have to tilt the saw. Uh, so if you're not careful, the saw will get tilted by accident sometimes. So always check that. Very good. We have four more pieces to cut and then we're going to begin to assemble. Here's our parts in sort of approximate order. Uh, uh, and this is going to represent the bay window. There's a window seat. And if we go ahead and start building this now, we won't be able to correctly measure for the window seat. It's sort of a duplicate of this, except it's cut on the opposite inside lines to fit inside all of our structural wood. Uh, so Abby, what you need to do is duplicate these by cutting on these lines. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. So this is some crazy cutting. You sure it's right? No. No? <laughs> um, two by six, right? Yeah. Two by four. Mm -hmm. Bay window. So that okay. have here is supposed to fit in and make a window seat 
and looking pretty good here. We're not sure up and down exactly how high it's supposed to go. Uh, we do know that this part has to line up right here. And that part has to line up right there like it does. So we're pretty happy with that. What we want to do is fit our window in, inside this window space. And we do know exactly how large that window is. It's smaller than we had originally intended. And I think I mentioned earlier, we went to the smaller piece of plexiglass to save a little money. When we changed the size, forgot about changing D sizes. Uh, so Jesse, what we want to do is measure down five feet, mark it, right? Put the window seat there. Give it a teeny, teeny little bit of clearance for the okay. plastic and uh, install this. We'll get some strength in here later because I do believe the actors are going to sit in the window seat. Okay. And then later we'll face this and uh, add some nice painting. It's supposed to look like a little cabinet there. All right? Okay. Off you go. Very good. Nope. Like that. Oh. Gingerly? Yes. Not bad. Welcome back everybody. I'm afraid I have some bad news. Most of you know that Lisa can't make it. Uh, she's not going to be able to help us out uh, and be a member of the Perfect Stage Crew TV show. So what I was hoping you would do for me, take a couple minutes uh, and decide among yourselves and think about somebody and instead of, as in other reality shows, voting someone off the cast, uh, what I'd like you to do is, is vote someone onto the cast. Apparently, there's like a reverse survivor thing going on because uh, the rest of the crew voted me on instead of off. Um, and I don't really know how that worked, but I was sitting in my house and I got a phone call. I felt honored that of all the people in the world that they could have voted for, they voted for me. Before we got to Fell's Point, Jesse and I went to a workshop in Silver Spring, Maryland. Uh, where we've done work in the past and did some, uh, I guess you could call it mill work. We found some scrap wood. Uh, it's always good to use up your scrap wood. And we had to cut it with this sort of particular shape. Looks a little unusual. The purpose of this piece of wood is to hold our plexiglass windows in place. If we didn't have access to uh, some fancy equipment, we could have gone with molding or even caulk. Uh, and I've seen it done with uh, glazier's points, little screws, little nails. Anything that will hold the plastic is fine. Once we cut this custom-sized piece, the correct angle, we added a little groove that fits the plexiglass perfectly. We thought we'd take this extra step because the audience does see this part of the window. On the part the audience doesn't see, we're just going to caulk it together and hope it stays for the run of the show. Um, so anyway, that one goes pretty much there. This one has to go, you know, the three feet over. It's a, re it's, it's a really close tolerance right here. Oh, wait. Ah. <laughs> 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 I knew it had a new tinge to it. So you only want these in half an inch or so? These are two inch screws, so it's not, I don't think it's going to crack the wood. Oh, just drill them we're all gonna the way add, through we're them? Gonna, we're going we're gonna to put glue down. You're going to drill screw up from the bottom and um, on both of those. And then you're going to carefully go up there and do the same thing. And That's it. There you go. That's in. Yeah. Okay. So don't let this one move too much. Get that one in and placed just right. 
We're trying our best to be lined up. That is not bad at all. Okay, and it's going to stay, right? Okay, let's mark these. And then you know what to do, right? Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it in. We're going to blow a little cock in here. And right here where the audience won't even see it anymore. So that'll hold these, which will help hold these. And there's a piece of wood. It's actually right down there. And it's going to go up top to hold these, right? See how it pop out? A piece of wood will help, and then we'll caulk that. Um, and then, hopefully, if the actors are relatively careful, um, the window won't come popping out in the middle of the show. You want to come back with a sponge and sponge off some of that. We're back. Uh, we took a moment to clean up a little bit. It gets a little messy from time to time here backstage. What we're going to try to do is hang this door now. Kevin's flipped the hinges over. Uh, that creates one little problem. Uh, what's going on with this, Kevin? This looks upside down. Well, the reason it looks upside down is because it is upside down. <laughs> it is upside down. Over. It now it's upside down, but it shouldn't be a big problem if we just put those hinges. Right. So we're actually going to be connecting this to. Normally we'd go this way. Can we pop that off, and or are we just not going to bother? I can't say I've ever done that with my bare hands before. There we go. Jesse, this looks a little bit rickety for a door. What's going to happen there? Well, we're going to put some supports from the frame to the wall. Okay, will the audience see them? Uh, not once we put up the big, long flap we just built. Oh, that's right. This is covered. Hopefully. So anything we put back there for bracing... Theoretically shouldn't be seen. Shouldn't be seen, and we'll paint it black. Okay. Um, my understanding is this is one inch larger than that. Yes. Yeah, I think you want a half inch below. Uh, so find something approximately half inch and rest the door on there where we set these hinges. And I believe we have a pretty good opening for here. You can probably get away with putting these hinges right on the surface of the jam. I don't think you have to mortise out. Uh, I don't think I don't think there's any need to, and uh, there is enough room. So uh, find your height, attach these, we'll hang the door, uh, we'll see if it swings, and we'll blow in some support later. Okay, uh, something like that. Can anyone see the top of it? Yeah, so. Looks good to All right, let's try that. Do you need the holes or not? Yeah. Better than it does in my house. That's right. Come in. Welcome to Walman Hats. Uh, we're pretty happy with the door. It's looking very strong already. We will secure it to the wall later. There's a little wobble. We want to reduce that. Uh, but one thing we really want to do, we come right down here, Otto, uh, Kevin, Piper, on a shop, an older shop, where this door has been opening and closing for years. You should see the swing of the door. And these few tiles should be the most beat up in the place. Um, a marble transom, uh, cracked maybe, right? Something like that. The audience will see that. And they will see the simple fact that, they sh that the, where the door opening doesn't look fresh. Uh, so this will probably be the most distressed part of what we're doing. Uh, so whenever we get a break from our other work, uh, we'll be over here trying to s maybe swing a sponge or something to that effect. What if the metal that. scours would do? It. That might work perfect. Also, yeah. just like the round part where all the seals and maybe over by the chair too, where the dad had his exactly, seat. exactly. And that's part of distressing the floor a little more. Somewhere along the line, we have to kill some of this red. It's a little too red, and we all we all knew that, and and we're ready for that. But uh, but that can be a little later. Uh, we're going to finish the windows, and they need their window signs. This sign is not correct, of course. And guys, I'm sorry, it's got to go. Do the honors. 